Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to take a closer look at the templates, specifically how you can create your own template and what it actually takes, what the different type of templates are, um, and how you can use them to create your own OS templates, which you can then later turn into as many templates as you'd like. So first of all, let's take a look at the templates we currently have available here. You can see them in the Create Amplet tab, or you can also see them in the Template section, which is right here. So those are the templates that are available for download on the left side, and those are the templates that have already been downloaded. And if you pay really close attention, you can see that you have two different types. So the first one being a KVM type, which is a full-blown kernel-based virtual machine. So that'll actually emulate a complete or the complete hardware. And then the LXC type, which is that super lightweight bare metal container. So now we have that import button here where it allows you to actually upload a KVM or Quemo image. But as you can see here, that only works for KVM amplets. So if you do have a VMDK file or some other virtual image, um, or a virtual disk image, basically, you can upload it here either through drag and drop or to specify or by specifying the path on your Ansel itself. So for example, slash root my template.vmdk. However, what if you want to create LXC templates? Well, we're going to take a look at how that works now. First of all, let's switch to the command line and see how everything works here. So I'm currently in the slash antlets underscore template section. And when I list all my file systems I have in here, I can see that that pretty much matches up with what I have in at the av available download, available templates already downloaded. That's a mouthful. All right. So you can see here that I have my blank template. I have my Debian 10 and all the other templates that are available there. So first, let's actually switch over to or let's just look at how one of those LXC templates looks like. So I'm going to look at the Nagios template here. And you can see that there is a bunch of different directories in here. And that what that is, is basically the root partition of our antlet. And the trick actually is that all you need to do in order to create a new LXC template is to copy over the root partition of any other Linux operating system. So for example, especially important for the Ansel Nano, if you have a Raspberry Pi image uh, that you would usually flash onto your SD card, you can actually use that SD card image and turn it into an LXC antlet, which will then run on your Ansel Nano. So I have a second tab open here. I can switch to that here, there it is, where I have a USB drive mounted. And inside that uh, mounted USB drive, I've just flashed a Debian operating system into. So if you check that right here, I have the same file structure that I have in my, in my template in my Nagios template here. So let's go into that Nagios template. There it is. So it's the same root partition file structure as I have on my USB drive. So what I need to do now is I need to create a new file system for my template, and then I need to copy all the files over that I have on my USB drive into that file system, and then create a snapshot so Antman actually recognizes it. And that might sound a little complicated right now, but it's actually super easy. So all I need to do is create the new file system, which I can do by typing ZFS, create, and then antlets underscore templates, and then my custom Debian. And now, since it's an LXC te uh, template, I want to type dot LXC and hit enter. Now, I want to copy over everything that's in here and move it over to antlets, templates, my custom Debian. So what that does is basically copy over the entire root partition into my ZFS file system, which I can then uh, specify as a template so Antman actually recognizes it. And all I need to do here is I need to create a snapshot 
which then ZFS snapshot antlets templates my custom LXC at snap, which then gets recognized by Antman. And if we pay really close attention in the back end, you can already see that behind the terminal, the new LXC template actually popped up. And that's really all you need to do. And now we can switch back into the new applet screen, quickly refresh it. And now inside the templates drop down, we can see my custom Debian. And that's really all it takes. Now I can go into, um, now I can basically just create an applet from that template. So let's name it my first LXC. And I'm gonna give that two gigabytes of RAM and four vCPUs. Well, it might be a bit too much. Let's just stick with two, two. And I'm gonna hit create amplet. And now, and that's really the cool part. Now I can go back into my uh, directory here. And when I do an LL on antlets and then my first LXC, you can see that it copied over everything I had in my template section. So I have the entire root partition that I had first on my USB drive, then in my template file system, and now in my antlet file system. And that's how easy it is to create LXC templates. I hope you learned something. If you have any more questions, write them down in the comment section and we'll get back to them. If not, see you next Thursday. Bye guys.